Which is worse, not eating veggies or drowning them in butter or cheese? We've heard it our whole lives, eat your veggies! But it's hard to do the right thing with food, especially during the holidays. Or the weekends. Or just days in general. When trying to fill up on veggies, of course eating them plain is the lowest calorie way to go, but just like with dating, sometimes the most optimal thing is the most boring. And let's face it, plain broccoli is the agreeable accountant with the tiny teeth your mom sets you up with. Hey! Nice, but not really your taste. But dress up that drab date with some butter and melted cheese and we've got something we can sink our teeth into! Mm. Disclaimer, covering blind dates and or accountants and butter and cheese may result in an awkward lawsuit. But there's good news! Adding some fat to your greens actually enhances your body's ability to soak up nutrients. But just take it easy, alright? One tablespoon of butter the size of your thumb will set you back 120 calories and cost you an extra 30 minutes on the treadmill. And consider this, if you skip out on veggies altogether, you're depriving your body of vital nutrients. Don't think that's a big deal? Google rickets and osteoporosis. Passing on the vegetables also means you're more likely to overeat other foods, which can lead to a whole laundry list of problems. Weight gain, insulin spikes, indigestion, gas, fatigue, bloating, mood swings, gas, constipation, gas. Oh yeah, it's really sexy stuff. So which is worse? Well, not eating your veggies is a felony, but drowning them in butter and cheese? Still a crime. So use butter, cheese, and oil in moderation. And skip the fake sauces. Those nasty little buggers, they will stick to your arteries better than a gel mani stays on your nails. Spread the love, not the butter. Share your locale veggie tips in the comments below. Or tweet at Self Magazine, hashtag which is worse.